Hello everyone. In this video, we will again do an example from LP Rec, and this example is again of build up test. This is actually extension of the previous question that we did. So what happens? We had a discovery well which had been producing for about hundred hours, and then we did a build up test. Now. we have discovered that reservoir and now we have developed that reservoir using several wells so there are several wells in the reservoir that are producing at some flow rate but we will do build up test only on one well and the well at which we are doing build up test that is producing at a flow rate of 400 stv per day and because we have been producing for a very long time now the bo in the reservoir has increased from 1.22 to 1.23 so you can go back to the video where i introduced bo that when we are not liberating gas in situ inside the reservoir and we have not reached bubble point pressure in the reservoir and we are above the bubble point pressure then our bo will keep on increasing so that is happening here that we are still above the bubble point pressure and the total amount of oil that we have produced so far is 74400 stb so these stbs are at surface condition and bo is given to convert surface barrels to reservoir barrels because in the equations that we use we generally use reservoir barrels after our reservoir has been producing let's say for about 7 and a half months then we do a build up test on a well which has been producing in the recent past at a flow rate of 400 stb per day the build up test data is given that is at delta t0 when we start the build up test the pressure in the reservoir was this or the pwf this is pwf the well flowing pressure was this and as the time of shut in increases this is how the pressure at well which is now shut in pressure increases as we have several wells so these are different wells we have discussed in a previous video which i will link here also that because of symmetry there will be a no flow boundary conditions that we can imagine so for the reservoir that we are considering the information that is already given to us is that we can consider 2 is to 1 ratio area which has no flow boundary condition and on one side in one quadrant of this 2 is to 1 rectangle is our producer for this well and for this reservoir now we want to find out permeability we want to find out skin factor of the well and we want to find out the average pressure of the reservoir and you can see that these are all the things that we can find using now pressure build up test and this is the build up test equation that we have derived earlier in this video i will talk only about permeability and skin factor and average pressure we will talk about in next video because i will introduce some more concepts using this example when we will try to find out the average pressure of the reservoir and from the previous video you know permeability and skin factor how do we find these we have done this in the previous example but the only difference here is that we have been running our well and we have been producing for our, from our reservoir for a very long time so 7 and 1/2 months in this case so how do we solve this to find permeability and skin factor if we want to use 
this equation of the build up test then for this what we know is what we need is pws and ln of t plus delta t divided by delta t so in this table on the left hand side what i have done is i have find out ln of t plus delta t divided by delta t and i have written the numbers here you can derive this yourself and check my numbers then again like last time what i have done is i have found the slope of these two so slope i will find by taking this difference and this difference and dividing with each other so we want to find out slope of this pws versus ln of t plus delta t divided by delta t curve so the slope will be q mu by 4 pi kh so to find slope we will take difference of these two numbers and difference of pws for those delta t numbers i have also plotted this and what we can see is except from these two points so the first two points we are getting almost a linear curve so for this linear curve if we look at the slope the slope from 31 and if we go to about let's say here we are in proximity of 30 and here slope is 35 32 44 here we can see that there is a uh, decrease in slope here but still it is making a straight line so we will ignore this so what we can do is we can take approximate slope to be 35 and the unit of slope will be psi because slope will be difference in pressure and difference in ln of t plus delta t divided by delta t so if we take slope approximately to be 35 psi then to find k what we can do is slope is equal to q mu by 4 pi kh so that means your k will be q mu by 4 pi h multiplied by slope now as i have been using si numbers here so what i have done is i have again used si so what i have done is slope is 35 psi but in pascal this will be the slope mu is 1 centipoise you can take this mu 1 centipoise from the last example and this will be 0.001 pascal second q is 400 stb so this is standard barrels per day so what i have done is i have converted it into meter cube per second but reservoir meter cube per second so that means i have also multiplied with bo then height in feet in meters pws so what i have done is for the next question where we want to find out skin i also want some delta t at which i will take my pws for that i have taken a pws 2783 so that means i am choosing this quantity this quantity for my next uh, solution of skin factor so pws is f is given so this is pwf in pascal time at which uh, you start shut in you can calculate that by np divided by q so that will give you time time in hours is coming out to be this so i converted this to seconds gamma is the constant compressibility is this in uh, psi inverse and this is in pascal inverse porosity radius of the well and delta t so uh, i said for pws i will be using delta t of 5 hours so if that is the case i can use these numbers and plug them here 
uh, to find out permeability and permeability you will see is coming out to be 50 milli darcy approximately now we want to find out skin factor so i will erase this because you can do these calculations yourself using the si unit number that i have already given here so i will erase these marks also so now if we want to find skin in the last video we had discussed we can use this equation so if we can use this equation we have already found out what the permeability is in meter square and in milli darcy and pws and pwf that uh, we use i have already given that in pascals so everything here i have given in si units this quantity does not have any unit this quantity does not have any unit so the skin factor also does not have any unit so you will see all the units of this quantity will also cancel out so now because we are finding this at a particular t so this t at which certain started so these many seconds and delta t is that i am using dt is 5 hours i am using this quantity from the table then 1 by 2 ln of 4 td by gamma gamma is the constant td we can find out from this quantity uh, where permeability is known so everything here is also known in si units now so using this now we can find skin and skin you will also see will come out to be approximately 6.3 so in next video we will see that how we can find now p bar so p bar we know that we can find out from p star p star is if we extend this to zero line so where this intersects at line zero we will have that quantity as p star so using that p star we can find p bar using another equation but i will give you another concept because p bar just by using that equation is not that simple for real reservoirs so for real reservoirs we need to do something else which i will introduce in the next video so thank you everyone